Sega and the developers of Sonic Mania explained why Sonic Mania 2 was not released. After the warm reception of the original, it was surprising that the second part was never released. Why this happened was told by the creative director of Sonic Team Takashi Izuka. After completing work on Sonic Mania, we worked with Sega to develop the concept of the next generation classic Sonic. It's a pity that we didn't manage to make a full-fledged game out of it. However, I'm glad that the vision we discussed with them is being realized in Superstars. M. In a lot of what we discussed with Christian Whitehead was about creating a visually rich but non-pixel game. We didn't want to repeat the approach from Mania, which was to use already existing elements. Instead, we wanted to create something completely new, with completely new levels. It was after Mania that a flurry of ideas began, but everything was interrupted. When we started working on Sonic Superstars with Mr. Oshima's team, a lot of what we talked about earlier with Christian became more clear, and we started creating a new game in the same vein, let's create something new and let's not rely on pixels. Sonic Superstars is in a sense what Sonic Mania 2 was supposed to be. A lot of ideas have fallen into the new project about the Blue Hedgehog but there will be a lot of differences.